morning, Stewart's Creek. My name is Maddie Neese. And I'm Catherine Stanley. And here are today's announcements. But first, please stand for the pledge, followed by the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The second annual Keep Me Warm project begins today. Skills USA and Cosmetology will be collecting new to gently use blankets, scarves, hats, and gloves to donate to the homeless shelter. We'll be collecting until December 8th. If you'd like to participate, please drop all your items off during ICU to room 420B. Dual enrollment interest meeting has been moved to Wednesday the 15th in the lecture hall during ICU. This is for students that are currently enrolled or would like to be enrolled during the spring semester. There will be a meeting for all National Honor Society members tomorrow during ICU. Jostens will be here during lunch on Tuesday for makeup class ring orders. Sweeney Todd, our first ever fall musical, will be this weekend, November 17th through the 19th. Sweeney Todd, ready PG-13, is about an unjustly exiled barber who returns to 19th century London seeking vengeance against the leader's judge who framed him. Now to Ryan and Taylor with sports. Good morning, Stewart's Creek. I'm Ryan. And I'm Taylor. And we have your sports today. The Nashville Predators beat the, Peng the Pittsburgh Penguins 5-4. The Memphis Grizzlies lost to the Houston Rockets. The Titans beat the Bengals by four points and are now on top of the division. Monday Night Football, Miami Dolphins at Panthers, tonight at 7.30. Alabama beat Mississippi State 31-24 on Saturday. Tennessee Football lost to Missouri 17-50 and Butch Jones was fired. Tennessee Basketball beat Presbyterian College 88-53. Vanderbilt beat Austin Peay 73-54. MTSU Basketball beat Trevecca. Matt Kenseth won the Can-Am 500. Blaze Creek hockey team takes on Indy Summit at 8.30 tonight. The first home basketball game is against Page on Friday. And now back to Maddie and Catherine. The members of the Stewart's Creek High School Band are once again, uh, once again participating in the annual holiday fruit sale. Proceeds from this fundraiser will be used to purchase new instrument lockers for the band members. Orders are projected to be delivered in December. Now to Jemiah with weather. Good morning, Red Hawks. Now for today's weather. Today's weather will be high of 48 degrees and low of 36 degrees and will be cloudy. After school, weather will be temperature of 48 degrees and sunny. Tomorrow's weather will be high of 58 degrees and low of 37 degrees and will be sunny. Now back to Maddie and Catherine. Students, no electronic devices should be used unless they are part of a lesson and previously approved by Dr. Harrell. There are no exceptions to this rule for teacher aides. Electronic devices include but are not limited to cell phones, earbuds, laptops, tablets, beats, etc. This is in class, in the hall, in the cafeteria, or in the gym during the school day. And now to Emily with Today in History and Staff Birthdays. Good morning, Stewart's Creek. Today is National Chicken Nugget Day. And what happened on November 13th in history? Toy Story 2 came out in theaters. And happy birthday to Christina Staggs. Now back to Maddie and Catherine. That's all for today's announcement, Stewart's Creek. And where we are, one team.